Okay, this is my um, model of the uh, rear suspension on the uh, on the Megal. Um and what I'm currently designing is a heave spring. This is this device here. This sits across these two rockers um, using some heave spring mounts that I've designed. But the heave spring mounts are um, absent, so what we need to do is we need to insert them into the current drawing, and then we'll just drag them up out of the way. And now we need to work out which of the two we actually want to place. So they're a mirror of each other and they're both um, within the same um, design. Um, and what you normally do is you go into the actual design and then you just disable one or the other. We're going to have that one there uh, and we want to place that one there onto the rocker just here. So what we'll do is we'll press J for join. We'll select a hole. She's going to align against that hole there. We we'll then go back into the assembly choose that hole just there and you watch it comes down there it is and what we now do is we now just rotate it until we're happy with the final position and the holes are lined up and then we do a okay just need to make sure the motion is a rigid joint which it is okay that's the first one done and what we'll now do um, that was body 25 we'll just do it again insert into current design another copy of the same component and we'll just drag it up out of the way again there we go it's just out of the way. Now we go into the component and we this time we turn off 25 and leave 5 visible and 5 is going to sit on there. So we now go press J for join. We select the hole that we want to align it with, which is that one there, which is the bottom of the right angle. We're doing just here and we click on there and it appears. And now we just rotate it into position. The holes are lined up. Done. So the two rockers are now um, joined with the support posts. And if I lift up the suspension, you can see everything moves. OK, so what I now need to do is join the heave spring inside these two um, components. Again, it's done with join. Press J for join. But this time we're going to choose the ball joint, go back into position. And we zoom in and then we hover over and we press control and we click the center. So it's going to put that in the center between two faces, which you will use two faces down here. We choose that face there, we choose that face there, and we choose that reference. So we're doing okay. Oh look, it's moved down there. So what we now need to do is the same for the opposite side. So again, press J. We've still got the ball type joint, so back into position, hover over the actual assembly, press control, select the center of the ball, go down here, choose two faces, choose that face there, choose the second face there, and then choose the center. I'm going to snap to that, which is there. And there it is, it's placed it. Now if we press OK, it all snaps together. So what we'll do now is now if we now lift up the suspension arm, you can see the heave springs moving. OK, back onto the model again. We can uh, have a bit of a closer look at the clearances that I've been working uh, to achieve in order to give me some space to fit the heave spring. I've been reducing the height of these um, mounts um, gradually um, to get to the point where I've actually got clearance. Um, I, I don't want too much um, bending load on these either. They're about 48 millimetres from the height of the rocker. Um, um, I don't want to put too much load on the on the bearings, which is why I've kept the, the height of these as short as I can. Um, this is the redesigned um, oil filler neck that I've had to um, design. Uh, it replaces um, a really tall structure which sat right in the way. Um, but with this shorter one fitted here, I've got plenty of room, as you can see, to still remove the um, oil filler cap if I need to. Um, and uh, it it, um, it should it should work okay. I'm just going to um, just going to animate it here and you can see the clearance that we've got. So that is the suspension. That's with the car with the um, wheels off the ground. So all the weights on the sus off the suspension. If I lift the arm up, you can see I've still got plenty of clearance. Ignore the fact this yellow rubber bush isn't being compressed between these two metal plates. I haven't worked out how to animate that. Um, but you can see from the angle here that the rod end sits within the um, mount post. There's plenty of movement. There's no chance of them actually fouling the body. Um, up and down movement is fairly minimal. Um, and uh, I've even got the uh, anti-roll bar fitted. We just drag it back. There you go. 
that shows you the type of clearance that I'm aiming to achieve. Um, the next thing to do now I've got the design for these two support posts finished um, is to um, come up with the design for the two tubular steel components because one sits inside the other. I'm going to have to specify the position where these plates are welded on so that I've then got um, a gap here when the suspension is at rest. So with the um, the weight of the uh, car, say so if you lift it up on the axle on the trolley jack, so the wheels are actually hanging, then this is um, as far apart as they'll ever be. And then with the car fully grounded down with a couple of thousand uh, newtons of downforce, and the dampers are fully compressed, um, that shows the um, the gap then between the two plates. So I've got a little bit of work to do now to actually work out the geometry of that heave spring. Um, but I think we're nearly there. I think this should work um, and that will then allow me to fit some softer springs on the Intrax dampers um, to give the rear suspension some more compliance. Um, and we'll also fit some spaces in here, um, some rubber spaces. I think I might have that modelled actually. Heave spring, that one there. I might have a component silicon space. Yeah, there it is. So you can actually model that as well. And we can fit those in to actually um, uh, make some fine adjustments for the point where the heat spring actually starts coming into play. That's the plan anyway. Um, right, so next step is to, um, like I say, finish off designing the actual heat spring sliding mount mechanism, um, get the uh, oil filler cap sent away for um, metal printing, and also get these two mounts here sent away for metal printing. And then um, when everything comes back, um, assemble it all and then go and have a bit of fun doing some testing somewhere.